way better hot sauce than Frank's. Ooh That's some good stuff now. There it is, y'all. That's one heck of a plate of crappie. Playing for keeps, huh? What's happening, jig heads? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here bankside tonight doing a little flathead fishing, a little bit of cooking, and having some fun. So come along with me. Location tonight, guys, a little bit overgrown. Had to clear me out a spot to land fish, but we got some good structure around. We got a lay down over here to our left. Got some fairly deep water out in the middle of this little cove that cuts back off the main lake. So I think we're in a pretty good spot to set up this evening for some flathead. Gonna be using the new Ancient Mariner 6000 series reel tonight. Got that spooled up with 65 pound high vis no fade reaction tackle braid. And I've got some new hooks tonight, guys. I'm kind of looking forward to using these. The Nocturnal Nasty. That's an ADOT modified J hook. And it's a lighter wire. We got a little bit smaller baits tonight, so a lighter wire hook's gonna keep our bait alive a little bit longer. And we got that teamed up with the new Nocturnal Nation Catfishing Demon Dragon. That's a uh, spawning chub color that actually glows. So really good, uh, really good little added addition to a rig. Add some rattle and uh, a little bit of action. The uh, the way I've got this rigged up is a little bit different than I've seen anybody doing it. Um, I don't like the extra connection points of knots. I think if you tied every connection point off, you'd end up with five connection points. Now, that's a lot of room for failure. So I ended up running this leader line through the nose and through the tail, and then all I did was use a bobber stop and a bead on both sides of it. I can't take the credit for that. I seen my buddy Brian doing it with a bluegill float rig that he was using, and I thought, well, why wouldn't it work for a demon dragon? So we're gonna try it out tonight. Got a 60 pound mono reaction tackle leader four ounce coin sinker on a sinker slide we're gonna be throwing some live bluegill out here at them tonight gonna wait around until it gets dark and uh probably fry up a little bit of crappie here i brought some crappie along in the two burner stove figured we'd have dinner lakeside and wait around on the fish yeah there it is y'all little camp stove action Grease should be hot. We're gonna go ahead and get some of this crappie breaded up. I got this crappie actually marinated in some Cajun Chef. Y'all ain't never heard about that? Way better hot sauce than Frank's. And that's saying a lot, because I know y'all like some Frank's, I like some Frank's. Cajun Chef, man, it's where it's at. We're gonna knock off a little bit of this marinade, get these breaded up. I got about 15 fillets in this bag. It's a good thing I got some buddies fishing with me tonight. I got my brother down here. I got old Bryce. If you guys are regular to the channel, you know Bryce. He's been out fishing with me on a couple of adventures. Good guy. Everybody's got high hopes this evening. We'll do a little bitty piece. Oh yeah. She bubbling. Well, five second rule. You setting up another? You setting up two? Oh, I just set you up one. <laughs> I heard you say you were only six one. I was like, you're going to say that. Hey, Jake don't like trialing knots, but I do. Jake don't like trialing knots. There goes my mouthy brother. He knows everything about fishing. Actually, Bryce is probably in for a little bit of a show tonight when Justin and I get together and fish. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. These fellas probably didn't know they was going to get a fish dinner tonight. But I came out here prepared, got out here early, 
gonna spend till about 3 a.m. so gotta have a little food in your belly what better than a little lakeside fish fry breading tonight Andy's red that's where it's at man red is my favorite breading from Andy's got a little bit of bite to it but not quite as much as the Cajun so I figured with that uh, Cajun chef marinade probably ought to not use the Cajun breading might be a little too spicy I don't know I like spicy man y'all those are looking good Oh yeah, check that out. I'm gonna get some more breaded up, fried. Oh, oh! Good God, being down there on the ground's hard on an old man. How clean's that water down there now? Is it too bad? It was freaking black as night earlier when I was down here messing in it. Yep, that'll do. Ooh, that fish is smelling good, ain't it? Good Lord, you didn't you didn't know you was gonna get a crappie dinner down here tonight, did you? Ooh. Gotta give a shout out to Mike Dorworth. He's a subscriber that actually set me up with this two burner camp stove. Mike, I appreciate it, buddy. Working out great tonight. I'm gonna have some crappie in my belly. There it is, y'all. That's one heck of a plate of crappie. Let's go eat. Hey! Dinner tonight consists of beer and fish. Get down here and see what the knucklehead thinks about it. Playing for keeps, huh? Is that whole plate for me? No, that whole plate ain't for you. <laughs> How many do I get? You get like four pieces. What? Yeah. You were as stingy as you were when we were kids. No, I ain't stingy. Bryce has got to get a little two now. Get out of here. Golly. What do you think about that? Yeah? Marinated it in some... Uh, Cajun Chef. Different type of hot sauce. Better that way. Ain't too shabby. Mm -hmm. Well, I took a heartburn pill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good because I ain't ate since like 10 a.m. There, you can take two more nuggets. That's a nugget. And that's a nugget. Well, there you go. All right. Price, make sure you get plenty on there, dude. Just save that little corner right there for me. Are you guys all in the say, water? This is uh, the best fish. I'm always the one that cooks it. Yeah. So I don't ever get to appreciate it. Good. Uh, Usually when somebody else does the cooking, it's always better. Dude, this is awesome. Is that like good fish? It's almost as good as his brisket. Almost. 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 If you'd have made some of your barbecue sauce and brought it down here, it'd probably match it. Yeah. <laughs> really all about the barbecue sauce. <clears throat> you guys got four in? I don't, he's got one in. I don't have any in yet. Oh, okay. I'm going to finish eating this fish and then go get lines in because it'll be right about the right time. I had just enough time to fry fish and drink a couple beers. Perfect. Catch bait. That little freaking camp stove did great though. I was actually really surprised it came up to heat really quick and held heat good. Enjoy. Nothing like having a bonus no. snack when you come out to no. do a little flathead fishing. 
You will. If you won't, Jake, you will. All right, I'm going to go down, finish this fish, and get lines in the water. All right, guys. Thanks, Jake. You're welcome, buddy. This is honestly probably the most fish I've ate in one sitting just because I cook it, so I eat the side. What I always get in trouble with when I fry fish, eat a little bit here, eat another couple pieces here, eat another couple pieces here. So by the time I'm done frying all the fish, I'm so full on fish yep. that I'm like you, all I do is go get a plate of sides and yep. he's like, why aren't you eating fish? Do you not realize I just ate fish for the past 45 minutes yeah, cooking it all for you guys? You knew That's right. Oh. Good stuff, y'all. Went over well. Bryce, Justin seemed to enjoy it. I'm going to finish this up, and it's time to quit fooling around. Let's get some lines in the water. How long did you let that marinate? I caught this fish back in uh, February. I would planned on doing a catch and cook, but I looked back at the footage of the day because I would set out to do a slip float minnow video. Mm -hmm. Couldn't catch them on a slip float. So I scrapped it, but I put this fish in that marinade that night, the next morning I got up, checked the footage, and I'm like, no, I can't do anything with this. So I wrapped it up, put it in the freezer, and I just thawed it out last night. So technically it was marinated overnight and then frozen in the marinade. Well, I've never been able to taste the marinade that good, so I guess I need to do that because... I would say if you let it sit overnight, you'd be good. Because I noticed the next morning when I put it in, the meat had already started to kind of, yeah, take on the color of the, the hot sauce and... Bomb. It was dang good though. Bomb. All right, jigheads, if you made it this far, well then you must already know. Flathead, they eluded me this evening, but we had a good time. Got our bellies full. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Check out Cajun Chef. In my opinion, great, great hot sauce to uh, really complement fish. A lot better, in my opinion, than Frank's. I know a lot of you guys have seen people using Frank's. I've used Frank's a lot in the past. I st I'll still use Frank's. But Cajun Chef, whoo-wee, that's some good stuff now. Y'all check it out. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're there. And remember, folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you all on the next one.